Hello, and welcome to Empire of the Lost Next, Season 2, Episode 15. How's everybody doing? Just fine. Hey, okay. PG, kind of, sort of. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Still so, pretty good. Not in the hospital anymore. <laughs> yes, we have a new player with us, everyone. Yeah. This is Adrian. She'll be well, joining us. <laughs> wow, this is how you treat me after I was in the ER. Great. Yeah, cool. hello, new person. Yeah, you cool. came out and you became Love a new it. person. That's what hospitals do to people. Yeah. <laughs> hospitals nice. are basically like they replace you with a body snatcher. Oh, God, you're a gish. <laughs> Meet Adrian the gish. <laughs> I'm the gish. <laughs> It's me! It was they me all along! Yeah, they don't know how to fix people at all, they just replace people with clones that are just, like, fresh so they don't have any problems. They try to fix you, but you just become broken beyond repair, and they're like, uh, well... We yeah, they're, they're, like, they're like really shit, like, IT guys. They're, like, they're trying to fix, like, this old stereo, they've got no idea what to do, so just buy a new one, and, like, here you go. Put it in the transistor! This... This is a DVD player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Oh boy, it's what would happen. Who would like? Well, it's not a who. How about we start the game off with everyone doing the recap from last week? Yeah, yeah everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah, everyone. <laughs> I mean, I can actually. I, I actually kind of want to give it a try. Oh then. Give Give Philip a little break. All right. Lots so everywhere. we. <laughs> so. We started off with uh, us taking a breath after the battle, uh, checking our wounds, Akiyama, uh, mending my tail, and uh, talking. Uh, we told I I told our sis all about the uh, about the the possession thing, and I don't really remember stuff like that after that much. You can fill that in, but. Uh, we had two demons that we had uh, captured. Ro and Akiyama were talking about what to do with them. Uh, yeah, all I really remember is what happened to me. So, <laughs> uh, Philip can fill the rest in. <laughs> because I remember most of it. and I wanted No, that's fine. Thank you for doing that. Uh, and so while Ro and Akiyama were t taking care of the demons, uh, Ro, well, before that, Ro offered to want to see if the, ho the dove ground would hurt me, and it did. That hurt a lot. And so then I got hungry. <laughs> then I got hungry again, so we went to go hunting. Rikor came with me. I tried to hunt a deer, but I, it was a server day. Instead, the little survey child. Uh, after all that, uh, I heard a voice in my head. It was me telling me to hurt Rycord. Didn't want to do that. Uh, so then, Rycord took his arm, cut it off, and I ate it. Terrible. Um, and he healed thanks to Titania. But uh, on the way back, uh, and uh, when we got back. Uh, our assistant was like, hey, what happened to you? And I was like, eh, nah, it's not a big deal. But I can't lie for shit, so... Uh, now she's mad at me. Fill in the rest, because I don't remember much. <laughs> Other than that. Okay, um, <clears throat> considering... Stop. Yeah, considering you, you keep saying fill that in with PH, I'm guessing you're talking to me. So, <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, so along with that, uh, we discussed with the demon named Chet, who, who uh, introduced himself as Chet, um, what exactly he and the rest of them were doing there. Uh, they discussed... Um, we discussed... Uh, that Luxon was 
starting a quote unquote rebellion, although it's probably just him just trying to get uh, rally people behind him in order to have them be. Uh, what, what do you call it? Um, com um, complacent in being ki kind of cannon fodder for him. Uh, in the meantime, after Faye and Rikor left, Akiyama and I guess Val was just sitting in the back, just doing, just trying to understand exactly what was going on, was talking with uh, Chet. Chet described that he had someone back in. Hell, I believe. I believe that that that's what he stated. That they were back in hell. That um, he wanted to help make it better for them. So it seemed like they wanted to start start something of of of, of a rebellion for the sake of their lover. Um, Akiyama ate that up a lot. Yeah. Um, clearly, Chet was not giving us the full story, but we were able to discern that he was doing it in order to protect his loved one, not for any real malicious intent towards us. So, we ultimately decided to allow him and the other one to go. Uh, we did not... We opted that it was probably not a, the best plan to... Um, try and have Chet call up Lux, telling him, yeah, go meet the guy at the thing, even though he's supposed to call you for this, but... Hey, I wasn't there to give any input on that, so I'll just let that be as it was. Um, we also let the other demon go, despite the fact that Chet told us that he had anger issues, but Chet said that he, I could probably win him over and tell him that's probably best not to seek any sort of retribution for what happened here. So we both let both of them go. Ro was super angry about that, but Akiyama was able to talk him down. Um, I believe outside of that, um, Fiona and Rikor came back. Um, Arsis asked them what happened. Fiona lied. She was able to tell that she was lying. Then went to ask, I think she went and asked Rikor exactly what happened. And he kind of gave a little... I really don't want to talk about it type of answer. <laughs> and I believe soon afterwards, um, Feyana, I believe Feyana did say that, okay, I ate Rikor's arm. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, because my arm doesn't have blood on it. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically the long and short of what happened. Oh, and Soot. Um, got it, got got his cart back. He seems, he's, Seemingly has a pr pretty interesting sword. Um, we paid him. He didn't want us to treat him like a charity, so he gave back the two extra coins that we were going to give him. And we also got gunpowder barrels out of it. And that was how that happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got gunpowder barrels. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, uh, uh, wow, Kelsey, you neglected to tell me that part. I forgot about the gunpowder barrels. Also, gun also, okay, wait, does... Does Rikor or doesn't he have his arm? He has his. He arm. has his arm. He grew. Okay. He, grew he grew it back from. Uh, that, was, that was mentioned from his ability. Yeah, that's why it didn't have a uh, blood on it. Mm. I should mention You'd we have sixteen barrels of gunpowder. Get used to sixteen barrels. All of the bullshit that happens in every game, but for some reason, I'm surprised. Mm. That's about where we left off, right? Much. Arsis was super mad. <laughs> yep, super mad. So, do we include the text RP in the recaps? No. No, not normally. No. Okay. Jumping into today's session. It's been about an hour for you guys to rest up, get all the different equipment, item, weapons from the dead demons, the barrels. And basically searching about as much as you can find out here in terms of what can be beneficial to you all as a group. So, what is found? Yeah, we've got 16 barrels of gunpowder. Do we ma all the bows were destroyed. How many swords were we able to recover? One bow survived. You guys were able to Ooh. recover eight iron swords. Iron sword? I thought they were iron blades. Whatever. No, yes, they're Big iron blades. Big difference. And you all received 
from searching through everything. A hundred and eighty gold. What type of bow is it? The bows they were using, it was... What you can tell, it looks like iron bows. But they're modified. Cool. Is that gold in total, or...? That's gold in total. Okay, cool. We're really splitting that. Well, I don't know, are we? Are we gonna sure. bother? Or That's who, true. like, who doesn't have, like, their own, like, funds right now? Who, who's completely broke? I'm yes. pretty broke, but I don't care about 118. I I'm have, broke. I have a thousand gold, so I don't really... I'm pretty sure I've got more gold than anyone, actually. Yeah. Because I started with, with quite a lot, and I've uh -huh. been given more. Uh-huh. It's like Akiyama well, Carrier. Well, it's like Akiyama Carrier. Yeah, you can do the trust for you. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I like, am I, like, the, uh, the banker now? You're the treasurer, <laughs> yeah. I'll keep track right. of loot, you keep track of gold. <laughs> That's fair enough, I suppose, like, if anyone needs gold, they just go to Akiyama, and Akiyama's got all of it. Mm -hmm. I have all the notes concerning shit we picked up. Okay. Alright, nice. and it's been a while since this has actually become a thing, but keep in mind, gold has a weight of one per thousand gold. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. So, after picking up all the barrels, getting everything onto the cart, you still have... Four horses and two carts. Does each cart require a horse or two? Each cart two. requires two. Yeah. Please it's a tell two me at least cart. someone you can't butcher two of the horses. Has handle animals. Um. Right oh my right. god! Is anyone able to actually tell those horses what to do? I have handle animals. I have handle Didn't uh, Rykor say that he's like he's he's rid he's rode horses before, animal. so he might have an idea. Hey 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 okay. hey hey hey! Okay. Character do it. Character do it. On a scale of one to forty. <laughs> <laughs> so as you all begin to group up and look at the horses, you start to look at each other as you realize the majority of you don't know how to. Uh, Properly manipulate a carriage of this size with two horses until someone speaks up in character. So are they um, are they already lashed and everything to the carts? Yes. Okay. Well, are we? Uh, how is everyone? I All right. Found everything we need to find. Yeah, don't think there's any more left here. Shocks. Astro, oh, Valorous, do I want in the robes? The robes? Um... Wasn't the staff of that... I don't know what his name was, but... He didn't get one. Red dude? Yeah. Yeah, the, the scary one. His staff, yeah, I actually, I still have that. May I see it? Yes, of course. I'll walk up to you. It's just uh, just here. I'll take it from him. Does it look like something I'd be able to maybe use? <laughs> do a knowledge what? arcana. Okay, that's actually something I can do. Uh, what a one. So you get the idea this has a lot of similarity to a staff that for not too long you weren't really that confident in wielding. Mm -hmm. But after traveling with these guys and getting more of the ins and outs of staffs, you begin to grow more confident with your capability of dealing with something like this. So, looking this over, the staff seems to be... <coughs> Excuse me. A little came up with that one. Seems right. to be... Alright, it is a modified version of a... One second. It's fine. A 
You can't find it. So, Mel, how you are uh, holding up? <laughs> uh, modified version of Disrupt. Modified how? Is that something I'm just going to have to figure out? Something you're just going to have to figure out. Uh, regular weight? Uh, weight it weighs 12. three more. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, one more. Yeah. It's 12. One more. What weapon class would the custom bow be? As you look at it and give it a... Do you have bow? Yeah. E-rank uh, As you give it a shot, you can't really hit for shit with it. Yeah, no. Spare bow if you want it. I wouldn't really be able to use that either, but... You can what sell it, though. Yeah. So, do we know how to use these horses? Right, As well, you just have to make sure you hold on to the reins, you know, these ones here. And walk around to, uh, do they both have carriages, or just carts? There's two carriages with four, um, two horses each. So they're dual-pulled horses, and you have two carts. That means you'll be able to do one of them, but what about the other. Well, who'd like to give it a shot? Does this take drinks? Is that or a what great would... idea? Can we just, like, tie a guide rope to one cart to the other? Uh, you could, but stopping is still important. You don't have to know how to do that. I, don't, oh, I think the horse is smart enough not to just barge straight in. Surely. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Well, I could maybe give it a try. Do you know something about dealing with animals? Yeah, I do actually. Then I suppose that's better than nothing. Yeah. It's really just a, a handful of commands. <sighs> also, this isn't riding like a noble sport. Do you have any experience? No, it's not a noble sport. Not... At least not when I was... No, I don't. Fair enough. Mm. Look, Feyana, just sit up here, yeah? And I'll take her over to the back cart. Okay. Now hold on to these. Yeah. And uh, to move forward, you just want to give him a little flick, but don't do it now. Okay. And the harder you flick, the faster they'll go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds easy enough. And to stop, just pull back a little. Okay. Right and left is right and left. That's the basics of it but generally these these horses will follow whatever path they're on so it's pretty fine really all right i can do this well then are we all ready yeah so, Making we are the front going part. back to Cedarwood, right? May as well. Tie up some loose ends. Yeah. What exactly are we trying to accomplish there? Again, tie up loose ends. From what we heard, people are traveling back there. So we could sort that out and... What is there to sort out about that? Make sure everyone gets back there all right. Okay. We lift. Also, we lifted the curse. There might be some reward in it. Possibly. And then also, I'm sure Val uh, like to go back there just for a little bit. If you recall, Rhodes doesn't want us anywhere near that orphanage. Yeah. 
I I'm sure I'll be able to talk to him. Welcome. I could just go there to offer warning. Sure, it wouldn't be appreciated, but exactly. Be just a quick comment. It won't be hanging around very long. It wouldn't hurt to see if the uh, messenger got to them in time. See if he mm-hmm. took it seriously. We should probably tell him to not take that messenger seriously, actually. Well, it's still a threat, isn't it? Around killed Luxon. It's still a threat, but it's probably a better idea for them to stay there. Like like we said before, the fact that they don't have Vowel means, for whatever reason, they where can't. she is makes her too hard to take. So sh- they probably shouldn't move them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Also, with your collective permission, I'd like to speak to that deacon again. I believe he I may think be able that's to. That's a terrible idea. He may be able to get me in touch with someone that can help Fiana. Do I really want to get someone like the deacon involved with what's happening with Fiana? See, I'm not going to tell him. Something. I'm going to. I'm just going to simply ask him to pass on the message that I'm still alive to some old friends. Do you know he'll do that? Oh god, no. But if rumor gets out that I'm still alive, they might come looking for me themselves. And listen, that what's going on with her should be our most high priority right now. That's true. It's only going to get worse, and we can't afford not to explore every option to fix it. Well, for one, I don't think we should ever... No offense, Fiona. You should ever leave her alone. Um... I mean, if she's feeling that hunger to the point that she's starting to eat people, we're going to need to regulate that. We're going to have to keep tabs on her, especially if we're going to a populated area like this town. How long do you think you can hold out before you have to start eating again, Fiona? Uh, I don't know. I was able to go three days without without needing to eat. Right. It's only it was only once I got into the into the holy ground when I really felt the hunger again. And going from like here to from here to um the uh what you uh, to a uh, north 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 crystal lake um took us like what like two days three days? It took you two, two days. days yeah yeah the cathedral to Crystal Lake and then from the and then from Crystal Lake to thing was like. Three, another two days or three days? Six well, days? Well, it took a, from Crystal Lake, from... Cedarwood to Crystal Lake. It took six days. Six days, right. Okay, so you're probably going to have to probably eat soon. Well, uh, between well, then and there. Remember, we do have the carts. That should make travel time take a lot less. Hopefully. Enough. But again, still keep tabs. I, I'll stick by you, Feana, just making sure everything's alright. I'm what is the to best start. place to research something like this? Moving <laughs> towards Akiyama. Best place to research something like this? Yeah, where can we find out more? You would think... Is there something I'd even roll for that? Like, uh... So knowledge. for what you would know... The idea of... Possession... And whatnot. There's the Red Spire, which is a conclave of basically some of the most powerful exorcists that exist, but that's off the mainland of the Empire. That's on right. the, um, it's not here. Yeah. There's the Black Keep, which is where the Witch Hunters and Ruin Hunters like train and organize. That's where you can find um, Terran Olfund, the leader of the Witch Hunters and their group. Or Ruin Hunters and Witch Hunters. And then there's also the option of going to a high ranking official Grim Knight or something of the like and seeing if they're willing to except handling Feyana's problem, but that's more so of an execution than anything else. Right. Outside of that, there is the magic colleges. They 
could help, but there's also the thought of them being more interested in it as a learning experiment. Like, overall, it would help Feyana, but it will take a long time, and they'll be doing this, exploring every facet of the options there to see yeah, if it like, could be replicated. How does it work? Or, What's yeah. it do? Like, yeah. There's, um... Well, the, the only real options are probably the Black Keep and trying to contact a magic college. Mm. And Black Keep probably isn't a very good idea. There's no idea what their response could be to something like this. If they deem it something too dangerous, they would probably just end up killing you before. But then we'd have to tell them that's how that works, right? <laughs> Something, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the magic colleges would probably be the easiest to get on our side to do it and would probably have the best outcome for us, but it would take a very long time unless we made very, very sure that they were focused on fixing it and not just studying it. What about you, Horses? Aren't you practiced in exorcism? Self-taught, admittedly, but I need to do more research. I went lax on the training in that regard since being in the dark. I've had little need of that practicing, except for the capability of wielding light on my side. Exorcism was never something I've done directly, but studied on. Well, look guys, the longer we put this off, the worse it's gonna get. I'm not sure how much time we have to ignore it. Uh, let's say we go to Cedar and see where we can go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, it says that's an option. Go to Cedarwood and then. What direction would the Black Keep be from Cedarwood if we're going there? I'm looking to Akiyama asking this. What's that? So, so I know what you want Looking at the map. Oh, yeah, I don't The Black map. Keep would be. About two fingers length away from Flame Keep, more in the center of the map. The it's problem not is really close to um where Akiyama's churches. I mean, as you're, as you're looking in the map, like within the two fingers length, um, Xandar would be in the center. But like, you've been wrong judging how long things have gone are needed to take on the map already, so... Yeah, right. You only know what you can see. It's... not too far away from Flamekeep and Xandra. Well, at least it appears to not be too far away from them. Mm. Which is in turn months away from us. Yeah, it's not gonna be a very easy option. No. Colleges, though, they're more spread out. There's a lot of those. North Bristol Lake has a high influx of Verve and Ruin Hunters, I believe. We were considering warning them about the impending apocalypse. Perhaps there would be some there that could help. Possibly. I mean, it's a better chance of finding someone there than in Cedarwood, isn't it? I still wish to send my message. I think we should definitely go back to Cedarwood. I mean, we're talking about weeks here, I think. Be about a week by car, yes. No, I'm for Feyana. Yeah. To get back to Cedarwood, take about a week. It wouldn't take about a week from here. With it didn't the cards, you might go faster. It didn't saying. take a week to get from Cedarwood to North Crystal Lake. And we went off on a tangent from that location. We haven't gone south. No, what I'm saying is she may only have a few weeks. 
as you can say. We need to contact the people that we've actually made some kind of impact with. Who are in Cedarwood. What roads? Possibly. Who else is there? I mean, how exactly did you guys part ways with the people? Like, the, what, what you've told me is that you kind of got up and you kind of got up in the face with the deacon, and then he had you guys leave. It no. seems. So you guys weren't just ran, ran out of town? Oh God, no. He actually extended a hand of friendship to me. I unfortunately turned my nose up at him. Something I, I can apologize for. I have fair excuse, but in the dark, didn't actually know what the deacon was till now. Well, Perhaps I mean, if taken. you don't think that they'll immediately take issue with us, I mean, the Bovaday woman and her father seem to like us, all right. Did you guys talk to them before you left, or no. just Not okay? All right, so oh, probably still on good. About no. All right, well, I guess you guys should probably still be on good terms, especially since if you warned them about Nark, and if Nark was working for the Deacon, then they didn't know that Nark was a thing. So, mm. at least with go, if we're so going they're to probably. Go, can we just go, please? All right. So well and good talking about us not having much time, but if we don't, we should be do having anything. this conversation while we're there. Yes. All right. Okay, uh, I think it's a mistake, but if that's what you all want to do. If I start to feel the hunger, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Will do. Thank you. On the road we go. So All right, so oh. I need Rykor and Fiona to make a handle animal check. I <laughs> fail. Do you not have handle animal? Fuck no. riding. This is the same thing all over again. First you got riding now, haven't you? No. I thought you did. Then why? Then why is why, uh, why are why we saying that Rykor knows how to ride horses then? Yeah. He Why do we say you were the best one for the job? Is it a would it be a skill based thing? Cool. It would not be something that you would roll off in a trait, it would be an advanced skill. So what do you want me to roll? Nothing. You try to get the horse to move. And it does not want to listen to you. Meanwhile, with Fayana. <laughs> Fayana, surprisingly enough, with the rough estimation that Rakor gave you, gave you, and just the sheer charisma he seemed to put behind it, and the confidence he had in it, kind of uh, fed in what you thought you can do with this as you give the horses a good hit, and they seem to respond really well with you as they begin to kick up and slightly trot forward. <laughs> so we've got one cart moving now. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. But we but we need two. I mean, I've got eight to five foot of rope. I'll just loop it around, like the horses' saddles, tie it and tie it off the back of the last one, like we was talking about. Mm -hmm. I guess if I see he's not moving, I would stop. Does anyone know how to speak to horses? I can scare horses. I don't think yeah, horses but that speak like that. Okay, I'm I mean, like, I could do. scare them, but that's not gonna work. Um... No. Hmm. I'm gonna begin tying, like, saddle knots and stuff like that. Which for some reason I can do, but I can't ride. True. Would it be, like, possible for me to do a... No, that probably wouldn't work. Mm. Oh, so, no. Ro, you begin to tie the two ropes from one end to the other, making a small little the... chain of, uh... Like a cart train, essentially. Very much. 
Mm. We're towing one cart with another, like we're towing two set two horses with another cart. I make like an easy to break line between them. Like if they do put any real force into it, the ropes will just pull apart. Rather than yeah, one cart falling off a cliff and the other one being tracked down. Mm. Special knots. Yep. So, with the horses tied together, you give them another forceful strike as they get on their hind legs for a second and push forward, having a little bit issue with the other weight of the second cart, but with the first moving, the other two horses start to follow in line and begin to trot forward as you have a small little train moving you guys forward now. Yeah, I feel like this is some semblance of a... What's the term I'm looking for? Um, she's so making up for... Yeah, yeah. Well, well no, she, well, no Fiona's making up for her unfortunate <laughs> yeah. stealth uh, mission, but yeah. Alright, well, that looks over the thing. Ah, oh, this seems like it's working, somewhat. Somewhat. Yeah, so I guess Val would be on the cart where Feyon is on, in the back. Just kind of looking yeah, in between two carts. I'd be in the front now, wouldn't I? Yeah, yep. you'd be in the front. Yeah, you'd be in the front now. How fast are these carts like, moving? Is it walking speed, or a little bit faster? Currently, they're just moving at a slow pace, so... You could walk with it at the slow pace. Yeah, I'd be walking behind in case anything like, rolls off. Yeah. I'd probably sit down on somewhere. Yeah. We probably need, um... Akiyama, since you know your way around, you should probably be next to Feyon and make sure she knows where she's going. Do I know my way around? We should at least have someone with the map up here. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Do we want to go any faster than this, or is this fine? We probably should go a little bit faster than this. But not... We shouldn't run or anything. The carts are heavily loaded, I wouldn't put too much stress on the horses. Especially with two only being tied on by a knot. Mm. Alright, then I give them another like small low flick and then go just a tad faster. Not too fast. With that, the horse and the carts begin to pick up speed going on a faster trot. Which at this point, Ro, you're having issues keeping up naturally and actually have to run after it. Yeah, I'll jog and just hop onto the back one, the back cart. And as, as you all begin to move forward, let's see Akiyama, Feyana, and Valrith on one cart, Rikor, Melendis, and Ro and Arsis on the other. You start to make your way, hopefully. To Cedarwood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I need a who's ever gonna be the person pointing out which way to go to make a geography check, unless you have navigation. I'm not doing that. Bear in mind we only got here because between us we worked out that moss grows on the eastern side of trees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, if we, we do get terribly lost, lost, we can I use that. I specifies <laughs> multiple times before Akiyama does not know how to get places. He uh, has a map, he doesn't know how to read it. Yeah, so I oh, guess okay. what we'll do, we'll just follow the same way that we went, and that we'll look at the moss at the trees. I yeah, could not get you to yeah. Cedarwood. Knowledge history to follow if tracks. If can get back. us to a road. Yeah. No, well, no, like, we have to cross a river. We don't want to take the cart through there. And then go down a big hill. Like, yeah. we can't go back the same way we came. But I if, mean, if we can like... shoot, eat, well, shoot west, we'll hit a road eventually. We'll figure out where that road goes either side, and then head back to Cedarwood. I mean, geography is a skill-based thing. I could roll it, and I'd have probably the best chance out of anyone. Do you have zero points in it? Yeah. Yes, I do. Don't. <laughs> So, 
So you just want to listen to what Ro said? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. It's a better plan than none at all. Alright. So, you guys begin to set off in the most west direction that you can muster using what you learn from the moss growing on the si other side of the trees. As you're continually moving, you have a approximately the rest of the day, essentially, as you're on these carts moving that the camera kind of keeps up watching to see if any conversation happens while doing so. So about like peer over the side. Is Mel all the way on the other side, on, on the other cart? No. Well, yes. You're on the first cart. Second. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of be on the back, just looking over. So, Mel, hi. I haven't really been talking a whole lot. I haven't been talking a whole lot to you. I suppose not. Uh-huh. So, do you usually like to strip down naked and go into a lake and to bathe? You know, I probably should have expected that question. I, it, I, I feel like it's a question that should be asked. Probably. Actually, yes. Oh, okay. It's very cathartic. Oh, okay. Like, like and the... I am 430 some odd years old. I don't exactly have inhibitions anymore. Nice. Nice. I mean, you keep yourself well-maintained, I, I, I've seen. That's probably the first time I've ever heard that, surprisingly. Mm. So, so, um... You... You've had sex a lot, haven't you? Probably should have seen that question coming as well. Yes, why? No, I'm just, uh, just, just, just wondering, so... Like, how do you usually, like, pick up your partners? By being me. Why do people keep t giving me that fucking answer? He says! It doesn't help at all! <laughs> I know it doesn't, but it is true. <sighs> so, so, you just, like... Flick your tail. Or, uh, no, sorry, you, you don't have a tail. You I flick your wings. Tail, yeah, you flick your wings, and it's just like, oh, there she is. Well, if you want to put it very simply, I suppose, yes, that's how it goes. It's very hard to explain. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to, like, you know, flash it, right? No. Okay. So have you... So. What, what, where have you been with? I mean, like, you've been 400 years, probably a lot of experience, right? Yes, you could say that. Right, so, you're pretty tall. Have you ever been with anyone taller than you? <sighs> oh, probably. Okay, have you ever, hmm. I'm assuming you've been with one of your kind, right? Oh, gods, no. Oh, really? 400 years, no, you've never I'm been with one of yours. Not in the habit of uh, sleeping people, sleeping with people who could put me in the family way. Ew! Are all of you related? I'm sorry, what is that supposed to mean? Well, no, because you said anyone put you in the family way, so you're saying that you don't... Are, are you saying that they're all you're all cousins, or are you saying that... Anyone who could make me pregnant, darling. Oh! You really oh. need to learn colloquialisms. I see. Huh. Oh, 
Oh, so you don't you don't want? Oh, okay. I mean, no, that that's that's good on you. You know, if you, you know, be the boss of your own body. I get it. It's cool. Have you all taught him anything? We tried to avoid conversations. We've tried. It's just very unclear if it actually, if he actually Sticks. understands any of it. Right. Right. So All can right only then. your kind get you pregnant? Uh, no, humans can as well. Oh, so you haven't been with humans then? No. Okay. Hmm. At least not human men. Ooh, I see, I see, you go, I see, I see. I, I get you, girl, I get you, girl. Air high five. One of her wings it extends in like an air high five, but she doesn't nice. raise a hand. <laughs> nice. Well, I also saw you like doing some like knife tricks. Did you? Where, where'd you pick that up from? Knife tricks? Well, I mean knife tricks. I mean you you're using a sword. I saw you in the okay. battle. Well, I learned things. I don't really. <laughs> I've been around. I see. I've been many places, I have met many people, I have had conversations with many people, and I have learned a lot of things. Mmm, what type of things? Well, how to dance, for instance. <gasps> you know how to dance? Yes, I do. Could you teach me? If you're not too clumsy. <laughs> I mean, and I'm not if we very... had some music, it would be easier. But... <laughs> uh, Val slowly looks over at Akiyama. <laughs> we can't do it while we're traveling. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, you, you know, once what, 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 you get to that point, you know. I suppose, so, um, I'm, I'll be honest, of all the things I do, um, pl playing my flute's a bit more of a hobby than anything else. Yeah, but you're good at it, right? Not as good as some of the other things, but... As long as you can play a melody, it'll work. Mm. Does anyone else want to join in? I think I'd rather prefer to continue my education in... ...cat language. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you really shouldn't it's say that. It's not for everybody! She'd turn and slightly glare at him. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think I would mind dancing. Mm. How about you, Arsis? She finally opens her eyes and looks at you, and in a very neutral tone, it's like, Valrith? Yeah? You're an idiot. We hadn't established that already. But I just wanted to know if you wanted to dance. I mean, like, you know, you you seem like you're you're probably good with you. Your you know, your 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 feet, you know, the way your body works, you know. I just I just, just thought, you know, you would be pretty good at, you know, with moving and stuff. And I mean like you seem to be in a very, you know, dour mood, so you know, I just thought, you know, pep up, you know? Have I ever shown to be someone that can dance? I, I don't know. You could have a. You just you, made the statement that you look like I move my body around. Do you make a habit of looking at my body? I, I mean, you're you're you're, you're there. I mean, like when I when I. Valerie, you're you, stuttering. <sighs> I'm not saying anything. I'm just you know just. What you're saying I'm is the biggest insult that you can do to me is to. Twindle that intelligence I know you have to act stupid. I'm not... I'm not trying to act stupid. I'm just trying to, you know, have a little bit of fun. You know, I can't, you know, always be sulky. Do, do, do you want me to always be sulky? Because I, I could be that. I could... No, I just don't want you to insult your own intelligence. You know what I would do if I knew as much as you? What? I would explore those options continuously, instead of always trying to make jokes with them. I... 
Wait, explore what options? <laughs> she sighs as she opens her bag and looks down and starts to read what looks to be a book. Looks back at her. 